It's me again, Teacher Kathy. Drop it. a great day today because today we're gonna have fun learning together in today's video we are going to learn about the planets of the solar system now as we begin we have to answer this question what are planets ah it's a really good question what are planets? Planets are round objects that orbit the sun. Here's a picture of the sun. It's the largest star in the solar system. And as you can see, there's a ring around the sun. And we call them solar flares, flyers shooting out of the sun. Absolutely amazing and stunning. The word orbit means to circle around. That means Planets are round objects that circle around the sun. Hey, can you tell me what 3D shape is the planet? Think about it. What 3D shape is a planet? We know that a planet is round, right? So what 3D shape is perfectly round? Yeah! A sphere. Planets are spheres that are perfectly round. Good job. To summarize, planets are round objects that circle around the sun. Pretty simple, yeah? Hey, did you know there are two types of planets? Yeah, it's really interesting. There are two types of planets. So there are primary planets and there are dwarf planets. Those were the two types of planets. Now there are eight primary planets. These are the main planets that you think of that are circling around the sun. And these are the planets that we're going to be studying in this video. And then there are five dwarf planets. These planets are a lot smaller and not considered as primary planets. There they are, the primary planets. You're gonna get to know all of these eight primary planets. You're gonna know them so well. The first planet is Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. The second planet is Venus. Our planet Earth is the third planet from the sun. The fourth planet is Mars. The fifth planet is Jupiter. That's the biggest planet of them all. The sixth planet is Saturn. Oh, gotta love those rings. The seventh planet is Uranus. And the eighth planet, the farthest planet from the sun, is the Neptune. Oh, I have a test for you. Can you tell me all the names of the planets? Uh-huh. It's a little bit difficult to remember all the names of the planets, right? Let me tell you a trick. Just remember this sentence. My very energetic mother just served us noodles. One more time. My very energetic mother just served us noodles. In this sentence, the first letter of each word would give you the first letter of each planet. M is for Mercury. V is for Venus, E is for Earth, another M is for Mars, J is for Jupiter, S is for Saturn, U is for Uranus, 
and N is for Neptune. So remember this sentence and you will be able to remember all the names of the planets. Now let's look at each of eight primary planets. The first planet is Mercury. It is the closest planet to the Sun. The Sun is super duper hot. And guess what? Mercury is a really, really hot planet. In fact, Mercury is four times hotter than a boiling water. Oh no! Have you seen a boiling water? It's so hot. It's boiling. It can cook things. You can barely touch it. You will hurt yourself so bad. Well, Mercury is four times hotter than that. Oh, it is a very, very hot planet. Mercury is one of the rocky planets. There are four rocky planets and Mercury is one of them. Oh, and Mercury is the smallest primary planet. Mercury is so much smaller than any other planet. So, if you think of the smallest planet, think of Mercury. Mercury takes 88 days to complete one round around the Sun. There is no air, no water, and also there is no moon on Mercury. You wouldn't want to live there. The next planet or planet number two is Venus. Yes! Venus is the second planet from the Sun. Venus is surrounded by clouds. That is why every day on Venus is a cloudy day. And the clouds are yellow. Because Venus is surrounded by clouds, it reflects maximum sunlight. So Venus is the brightest planet of all. Did you know that Venus is a little weird? All the other planets move counterclockwise, but Venus moved backwards, which is clockwise. People call Venus as a morning and evening star because they can be seen in the morning and evening. Like Mercury, Venus also don't have any moons. This is a really weird fact. Venus's one day is equivalent to 244 Earth days. And talking about Earth, Venus is known as the Earth's twin planet. The reason for that is that they are very similar in size and what's most interesting, they are both rocky planets just like Mercury is. This is cool. Venus is the closest planet to Earth. It is the easiest planet to see in the sky. You don't even need a telescope. How cool is that? third planet is ours. Yes, the Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Here is where the Earth is. By the way, the planets never lined up like this. I just have them like this so you can see the order of the planets from the Sun. It's interesting. Earth is the only planet we know of that has oceans and life on it. You see those blue portion on Earth's body? Those are all oceans and seas. And the green portion is the land where we live. Like the other planets, Earth also move around the Sun. It takes 365 days to rotate around the Sun. It also keeps rotating. Due to its rotation around its axis, day and night happen. Let me tell you about one more fact about Earth. As we know, Mercury and Venus don't have moons, but Earth has one moon. Yay! It is known as the Earth's satellite. The moon orbits the Earth like the Earth orbits the Sun. Earth is one of the rocky planets. Yeah, we live on a massive rock that has oceans and has life. And yeah, I mean, that's absolutely incredible. Remember, four of the planets are rocky planets. The fourth planet is Mars. Yes, 
Mars is planet number four from the Sun. Mars is in between Earth and Jupiter. What color is Mars? Look at Mars. What color is that? Yeah, it's kind of like reddish, orange. Because of its color, Mars is called the red planet. So if anyone asks you, what's the red planet? Tell them, hey, the red planet is Mars. Yeah, it's Mars. Even though it is red, it is not hot. It is much colder than Earth because remember, Mars is farther from the sun than the Earth. So, Mars is red and almost it looks like it's hot, but it's not. Hey, is there life on Mars? It's a really good question that a lot of scientists has been trying to answer for a long time. Well, scientists believe there used to be water on Mars. If there was water, there may have been life. There are some scientists that believe basic forms of life still living on Mars. Mars is the fourth rocky planet. Remember, we said there are only four rocky planets. So, Mars is the last of the rocky planets. Mars has volcanoes and valleys just like Earth. And this is kind of cool. Mars has two moons. They are both really small. Now, the fifth planet is Jupiter. Jupiter is the first gas planet. It's the massive planet in between Mars and Saturn. I mean, Jupiter is huge. It's the biggest planet in the solar system. Jupiter takes only 10 hours to rotate around the sun. Very fast, yeah? It is also called as the vacuum cleaner of the solar system because it sucks all the dusts and comets from the space. Jupiter is huge. It is the biggest planet in the solar system. In fact, all the other planets could fit in Jupiter and there would be extra room. Imagine how big Jupiter is. And this is amazing. Jupiter has at least 63 moons. At least 63 moons. And we say at least because they are still discovering more. Again, Jupiter is a giant gas planet in between Mars and Saturn. The sixth planet is Saturn another gas planet here is saturn it's in between jupiter and uranus hey did you know saturn rings are made of ice crystals wow how cool that could be see icy rings those rings are made of ice like jupiter saturn has a lot of moons saturn has 62 moons wow tons of tons of moons what's up with jupiter and saturn right and this is pretty awesome saturn is the farthest planet you can see without a telescope that's right you can see saturn with your own eyes without a telescope saturn is a gas planet it is the sixth planet from the sun the seventh planet is uranus another gas planet yes planet number seven is uranus it's in between saturn and neptune both uranus and neptune are the only planet you can't see without a telescope so it took a while for them to be discovered uranus is a gas planet that is made of gas and liquid what's cool is uranus has rings just as saturn has rings yeah 
Its rings is made of dust particles. Scientists believe that Uranus rings could be pieces of moons. We don't know for sure, but that's really fascinating if that's the case. Speaking of moons, Uranus has 27 moons. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and it's in between Saturn and Neptune. Now, the eighth and the final planet is Neptune. Hey, that means the first four planets are rocky planets and the final four planets are gas planets. And Neptune is one of the gas planets. So here is where Neptune is. It is the farthest planet from the Sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is a gas planet that is made of liquid. Neptune is known for its storms, the worst storms in the solar system. In fact, winds reach 1,000 miles per hour on Neptune. That's pretty intense, yeah? Neptune has 14 known moons, but scientists believe that there may be more. Here is Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun. It is the coldest planet as it is very far from the sun. Its time to rotate around the sun is also the longest. Imagine it takes 165 years to rotate around the sun. You have done such an amazing job with me today. Today we learn planets are round objects that orbit the sun the word orbit means to circle around basically planets are round objects that go around the sun and we learn there are two types of planets so there are primary planets and there are dwarf planets and here are all eight primary planets they are familiar now. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So, we learned that Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are rocky planets. And Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas planets. Wow! Those are the eight planets of the solar system. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want some more of my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!